Hi, this is Alex Designman and this is part 3 from Katia V5 Electrical Harness Flattening. This is going to be the final part for Electrical Harness Flattening and we are going to cover the rest of the commands that we have in this workbench. This is the project that we saved in the last video. So it's the flattened harness and we applied a few commands around here. So if you just see this video, you need to go back into part 1 and from part 1 you probably need to go back a little more to Katia V5 electrical harness design. There are no files to download. There will be no files to download. You need to create those files on your own starting from part one from Katia V5 electrical harness design. And we use that project to process it with the electrical harness threatening workbench. So there are no files to download because files create issues with different Katia V5 versions that everybody might have. So if you create your own files, you're not going to have those problems. If you want a more detailed course about Katia V5 electrical harness design with projects and a lot of knowledge from the automotive industry, at the video description in every video there is a link to my Udemy page. You can check some free videos over there, you can see reviews and details about each course. So you need to know that knowing how to use Katia V5, it's not going to get you a job. Because the software does not matter. The software is very easy to use, it's very simple. But the knowledge about how those harnesses are created and manufactured, that's what you need to get a job. And that's what I teach in the courses that I have on Udemy. So now let's go forward with this project. First, let's switch to electrical harness flattening workbench. Here we have it. Here I have the workbench's toolbar. So if I want, I can just customize and in here I can add electrical harness flattening and then I can go here and just uh, move it around but I'm going to leave this here. So in the last video we used the arrange junction umbrella leg, arrange junction equal angle and the next secondary toolbar here it's rotate and bend. So if you go into the rotate command I click on it and the software says select the bundle segment. So I'm going to select this segment here and in here we have a window where we can insert all type of information. Rotate through an angle, rotate along a direction. So if you have like a line or uh, some kind of uh, direction around here, you can select that here. If not, we have the angle user value. We can insert the value here. It can be positive or it can be negative or measured between. And here you need like second uh, two directions, like uh, two lines. So there are a lot of details in case you need them, but generally you just need to use the angle. So if I leave 46 degrees, it's going to move it here where we see this arrow. If I modify this, if I write 30 degrees, this is 30 degrees from the current position. So if I click apply, now we have this. So now zero degrees is the current position. If you want to go back, we must do minus 30 degrees. Then the next command here, it's bend. So if you use this command, select a bundle segment. Let's select this one. So now you can have, basically we have the same window. So we can insert minus 30 or let's uh, do 45 degrees. But now instead of an angle, it's just going to bend it. Click OK. So in case you need this on the drawing, maybe you have a small cable that does not fit on the drawing. So you just want to slightly bend it. You can do something like this. On the next secondary toolbar here, we have two commands. We have quick roll and roll. So let's start with quick roll. And to understand how this command works, because you're going to get some errors around here. In fact, they're not errors, they're warnings. If you click, you see that where you click is going to give you the point where this is going to start to bend, like to roll. So let's click uh, around the middle. So from this green point to this red point is the portion that is going to be rolled. And you can start with a small value, like 10 degrees. And the roll radius, of course, has to be bigger than 3.75. So let's uh, do 30. Click apply. So you see here we have a small bend.
So let's try this again. Let's do minus 20 and let's apply and let's apply a bigger radius, let's say 100. So you see this is the bending radius here. Okay. Let's go back. And the second command it's roll. So if I click on the command, the software says select a bundle segment or a 3D point in space. So you can also add a 3D point on the bundle to use it. So I'm just going to click on the bundle and now it says indicate a 2D point on plane. So I can indicate a 2D point anywhere where the that is going to be used to roll this bundle. So let's just click here. And this arrow indicates this direction, meaning that this is going to bend in this direction. If I move it, it's going to bend the rest of the harness into that direction. This is how this workbench works. User value 20 degrees. We can do more. Let's do 50 degrees. Apply. So this is a roll. You can also do more than that and you can bend this 180 degrees if you want. So those options can be used to bend bundles. So let's try this one here. Apply. So in case something does not fit on the paper or you just want to move them around, you can bend, move from the angles. And then the last command on the manipulator toolbar, it's straighten. So if you click on straighten, it says select a bundle segment. Let's select this one, which is bent, obviously. So this command can be used to make something that has been bent or rolled to make it straight again. So first you need to select the straight segment, which is this one here. And then we need to select the rest of the segment that has been bent. So it's this one here and everything is going to be straightened back. Let's do the same thing here. So we select the straight segment, which is this one here, and then we select this segment and it's done. Now we covered all the commands on the manipulator toolbar and we have another toolbar here, which is called lengths. And this one has a secondary toolbar. The first command on the, seg on the secondary toolbar, it's length tolerance. So this is to add like a manufacturing tolerance. So I'm not going to go into this detail, but in my courses I teach what is tolerance on electrical harnesses, why it's added, how it's added and when, where does it come from. So this is one of the most important aspects in electrical harness design because this brings most of the issues with uh, manufacturing and then with mounting and with assembly on the automotive assembly line. And knowing how to deal with tolerance only comes with a lot of uh, harness experience. So that's something that I teach in a, a lot of projects and presentations that I do in my courses. But here I'm going to show you how you add this on uh, drawings, because this is basically like a 3D drawing. So if I click on this length tolerance and it says select a dimension or fixed extremity. So the fixed extremity is going to be this one. If I select it, it says fix. And this is the move extremity, the one that moves. And it's uh, telling me to add the value here. So let's add, for example, 10 millimeter tolerance. So now it makes this longer. And the second button, remove, remove length tolerance. So obviously this is if you want to remove tolerance. And the next button on this toolbar, it's called scale. So I'm going to show you how uh, to use this, but first we need to make a modification on this project. So this is going to be a part of an exercise. The modification is going to be that uh, we are going to make uh, one of the bundles here very long, so long that uh, it will not fit on the drawing. And we are going to use this command to cut it. So once we do that modification, we need to do synchronization here to put that in uh, the har flattened hardness product. So that's the part where this uh, workbench gets a lot of errors. We have here the commands synchronize, auto update, flatten link. And in the next video, we are going to do the modification together because I also want to cover those commands here. So don't forget to save this as it is. In fact, uh, you can also not save anything because we didn't modify anything. We just looked at a few commands. 
but we didn't do any modification that uh, needs to be kept so you can just close this without uh, modifying and see you in the next video